we were we had information that uh, uh, there was a case of infection of COVID-19 in Brunei as well as Malaysia in the press. Uh, after attending a congregation uh, of what we, we know as Jama'at Tab Tablik uh, in Kuala Lumpur. One of the participants who came back uh, became sick a few days after returning. Um, he, in the meantime, uh, while the event ended around 1st of March, uh, he went and sought medical attention around the 9th of March. But in, the, in the, between coming back, arriving in Singapore and uh, at getting medical attention, uh, he also performed duties uh, of an officer of a mosque. After the 9th of March, having uh, sought medical attention, on 11th of March, NCID contacted him and brought him to NCID and then the results were positive on the 12th of March, which is today. So having now known that he is positive, uh, we had to take a few action to make sure that uh, we can contain uh, this from becoming a community spread, particularly among most uh, uh, attendees. Now, Muiz has decided because the four mosques that uh, this person has gone to, while he may not, he may still be asymptomatic uh, at that point of time, uh, need to be sanitized quickly. So we shut down this four mosques quickly today, and uh, sanitization work has already commenced. But we think that it is also important to extend the exercise to all mosques. So all mosques will be shut down for five days, and which means that uh, tomorrow there will be no Friday prayers. Now this is important because we need to protect ourselves, our community, our loved ones, and also knowing how the impact, the effect of COVID-19 on the uh, seniors, the elderly. Uh, as, and as we know that many of the people who come to the mosque are retired, senior people and therefore we, th we think it is important for the moment prevent such big congregations in our mosque.